What's up guys, welcome back to the Infamous Project. It is a windy day here in Texas and it's sort of like the winds of change are coming, not only for the season, but for the new year and for projects because I am working on one elephant and one hippopotamus here in the room and not fox body related today. So if you're here to see a fox body, you might see him in the background, but you're not gonna see me working on them in the video. So first things first, my SRT-10, AKA Domo. And if you guys are wondering why this truck is nicknamed Domo, well, Domo is sitting right there in the whatever, holy shit handle or whatever you wanna call it. That was just sort of the nickname because looking at this thing from the front, it looks like Domo's mouth just wanting to eat you and spit you out. So. This truck hasn't been on the road in a while and I'm trying to get some maintenance items done on it. I've already, you know, done the basics, changed the oil, checked the fluids. I've put new tires on it because it actually had the tires still from when I bought it back in 2012. I've actually had this truck that long. Actually, in fact, I think it was the end of 2011 even. Anyways, new tires, new battery, so I've had some valve cover gaskets leaking, of course, dripping down onto the exhaust manifolds. And while that's not fun when you pull up to a stoplight and you have the smell of burning oil and the occasional little puff of smoke coming out from underneath the hood. So I gotta say, this is gotta be one of the most easy vehicles to work on. Like if you look at this engine bay, look at all the room in here. Like it actually makes me want to install some long tubes or some headers or something because those factory exhaust manifolds just, well, they're not looking so hot. But you can see all of the workable space. Now, even when I had a Paxton on here, yes, this truck was actually supercharged at one point. Just the heat of Dubai resulted in so much heat soak. I'd get like one or two pulls and that was it. The truck could feel like stock, if that. So... Supercharger came off and that's pretty much it. You know, uh, this truck doesn't really have any mods. Otherwise I've got an ATI harmonic balancer hiding way down there because the balancer did fall off in this truck. This is an 04. And if you guys didn't know, the factory did not torque down the balancers properly. And yeah, long story short, you'll be driving along all of a sudden your balancer won't be intact anymore. So I got away pretty lucky. I didn't have any real damage to the end of the crank, managed to just take some emery cloth, clean some stuff up and get the new ATI balancer on and everything's been great since. The only other mods really is the drop kit on it. I have a set of 513 gears in my rear differential. Yes, you heard that right, 513s and that really wakes the truck up in terms of getting it to move. And you know what, being a six speed, it's actually fine. It sounds really aggressive, especially if you know you're thinking Fox body, this thing actually drives really nice with them. So that Magnaflow cat back, and that's pretty much it to the extent of mods. k and air filter in the, in the air box. So I am just going to move on to the driver's side, peel off this valve cover. And again, like, Look at this, you don't need to remove a plenum. You really don't need to move anything out of the way other than pull off the spark plug wires and probably have to move the vacuum line for the brake booster up a little bit here. But we should be able to knock this guy out pretty quick. And I'll show you, I was actually surprised at how clean things are inside this motor. I've already done this side. You can tell it's nice and clean over here and dirty over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off. I'll show you the inside or the underside of the valve cover. It always trips me out when I gotta pull five spark plugs off um, or spark plug wires, sorry, uh, versus just four. So the other thing that I learned too is that this is the odd number side of cylinders and this is the even side. So it actually goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a little bit different than what we're used to on the Fox bodies with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I guess Dodge is a little bit different. That's fine. That's cool. But let's go ahead, rip this valve cover off 
and get the gasket replaced. Here it is right here. Nothing fancy. And of course, for nothing fancy, I think the pair of these were 70 bucks. I could buy like four sets of Fox body gaskets for that. Anyways, let's pull this valve cover off. All right guys, so pulling the wires off can prove to be a little bit more challenging. Some of those clips just never being off the threaded portion of the uh, studs um, can be, like you gotta wiggle and jiggle a little bit. There's one vacuum line on the back there. You gotta get one of those annoying clamps off. So I just managed to use some uh, pliers and um, really no big deal. So now 11 millimeter socket. I cleaned everything off to make sure that, you know, once the valve cover does come off, we don't drop any dirt down in there or anything. So let's knock this guy off. nice and clean it is in here it's unbelievable so back here where the gasket kind of pulled out you can feel this one's a little softer than the passenger side was passenger side was pretty hard and stiff so this one probably wasn't too far behind the other one in terms of when it would start to leak so we're gonna go ahead we'll clean all this up clean our surface mounting area and get our new gasket put in, bolt this guy back on. Now this motor is really clean. If you had a lot of oil and dirt buildup and stuff like that, you really wanna make sure that none of that is falling back down into the cylinder head and getting mixed in with your oil. If uh, things are really dirty, clean them as much as you can before you even take the cover off and you know, wipe in an upward motion, always wipe away from, you know, the internals of your motor, just to keep anything and everything you can out of the inside. So now that we got this pretty much all cleaned up and looking good here, we go ahead, lay the gasket in, and then I'll blow this out with compressed air, and then we can set it back on. If you guys are trying to wonder where the gasket starts, you can always look. There's usually some sort of indicator. In this case, there's this little dimple here, this little built out spot, which is pretty much gonna be your reference point as to, you know, hey, the gasket starts here. And I think I have it backwards. There we go, gasket starts here. There we go. I'm actually going to take all the hardware through the wire wheel real quick, get it cleaned up. We'll be good to go. All right. So got our hardware all finished running through the wire wheel and all cleaned up got our valve cover all blown out with compressed air so now actually you know what i'm going to clean this up a little bit more before i put that on Looking nice and fresh in here.
So there we have it. The engine bay is looking nice and clean now. The old WD-40 treatment and quick wipe down. So I'm really happy with it. Stay tuned now because we're gonna be moving on to the E39 M5. I'm gonna give you guys a lowdown on what's been going on with this car and where I'm at with it right now. And um, hopefully again, another one will be up and running and on the road, so stay tuned.